All right, everybody, let me show you a couple things about moving around in Second Life. This is going to become increasingly more important as you want to travel to different places, see different things, and interact with different folks, and get back and forth from where you need to be without getting completely lost. So you may notice up here at the very top of my list here, I've got some landmarks. These are basically personal landmarks of mine that I can go to relatively quickly. It's, it's pretty easy to make one of those. What you can do is you can go up to your World tab and choose Landmark This Place. You'll notice that it opens up your Places tab uh, that you have right there, and it gives you a chance to create a landmark. There's no image assigned to this one, uh, this particular place. But you'll notice that you've got some details here. It's Ed Tech Island. Yes, it knows that that's the place. And here's the title, and you can title it whatever you want. I'm actually going to call this the Loft. And I'm going to uh, select the Save location. These would be my notes. Yeah, you know, this is a place that I do this or interact with these people. Your choice. But I'm actually going to put it in my favorites. You'll know these different things. Gaming locations, that's a folder I've built. I've got another folder here called New Folder. And then I've got the folder which is my favorites. When I do that, and I choose Save, it shows up on my menu bar at the top. It also, in my uh, landmarks here, shows two different parts, my favorites and just my regular landmarks. Right, So I can pull open my favorites bar and go, well, you know what? I don't need the space station anymore. Actually, I do need that one. I can't, I can't let any of these go, but I've definitely got my loft. You can also open your uh, your Places tab and then find other things, other places that you have visited. Excellent. And so here's how it works. Basically, you click on one of these and you can actually click Map. And if it still exists, if it hasn't been deleted, it will be right there. That's the name of that sim. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to close this down and I'm simply going to select the Prometheus. You'll notice that it teleports. I apologize for the flashy flashiness. And it teleports me up to this location and takes me to this place which I've teleported. Uh, I won't tell you too much about this because I'm going to show you a little bit later. But it is a very large spaceship that we use for a different class. So I can click back on Loft, the one I just created, and go right back down into the loft of our cool building. And it puts me right back here. It's really, really cool. There's another one that I would encourage you to take a look at. If you click on Destinations, it will bring up some editor's picks and some very specific focus spots. You can find some places that you may not want to travel, some, uh, some adult places here as well. But that's you know part of the constituency of this uh, environment specifically. But you don't have to visit those places at all. Uh, the great thing is they're rated so you can tell what kind of places they are. Now, if somebody gives you a landmark, someone drops a landmark on you, it will be right here in the My Landmarks area. They sort from the top to the bottom. You can create as many folders in here as you want simply by clicking the plus and choosing Add Folder. And I can create that new place, Fun Places. Those are the basics of how to use the teleport and how to get around in Second Life.